What is happening guys? Welcome back. So, we've got another little upgrade to do on the van, which is something we mentioned quite a while ago, and we've been planned in pretty much from the beginning of the build. So, on the van, when we built it, we threw in a sliding window here, which is sort of back to front to what the normal windows are. And then on the sliding door, we put a piece of fixed solid glass in with no opener in it. Now, the reason we put them in was because they were seconds. We threw them in just to get some windows in the van so that we could carry on with the content and get it used. What Transport HQ have had in the works for quite a while now and will be being released very, very soon are these, which are their Safari windows. So these are what Transport HQ are calling their Safari windows. So it's a normal piece of glass, but you've got this whole piece in here, which hinges up and on the back you've got all of the mechanism etc so pull those two up the window goes out and they've got it so it stops wherever you leave it which is a nice little touch so you can have it as open or as closed or whatever as you want if you want it open a little bit do them knobs up and it'll lock it into place as well close it down latch on pretty cool so we decided we want to go through these from pretty much from the beginning because I think in a camper van they're going to make a lot of sense in that you can have them slightly open even when it's raining because rain's not going to get in like a traditional sliding window when rain can get in because it's basically just an open hole in the side of the van. So to do this and to fit these we need to remove the old windows which I'm really not looking forward to. Which is where I've been on Amazon and purchased myself a... Yeah, Mickey Mouse bit of kit, which is this. So this was about 20 odd pounds from um, Amazon. Um, and it's a bonded window removal kit. I've seen window guys use these before, but unfortunately we're not gonna be able to get in with that. Um, I don't know what that does. That I think is just for removing trims maybe. Nice new trim removal tool. Um, this and this are basically what we're gonna be using. So this, is I think people refer to it as a cheese wire. So it's a thin bit of wire, which has got sharp edges on it that you put into these handles, lock it in and you have one on either end and you basically pull it back and forth and the wire cuts through the bond. And I believe this is what you use to put that on, poke through the bond and then you put your handles on either side and then pull back and forth, back and forth, back and forth to cut through the bond to get the window off. Or at least that's what I think it is. So yeah, never done this before, but we'll give it a go. We've give it a bit of a clean up. And then we've got, uh, damn it, we've got another fitting kit or two glass, two window fitting kit so we can bond the new glass in. Now we'll try this. If not, I'll get annoyed and I'll put a hammer through the window. But anyway. Let's get the GoPro and see if we can get this glass out without breaking it. First attempt. Right, there we go. Windows are now out of the van. Sliding door one came out easier. We used the cheese wire with the um, handles on and we had the door open. It was a bit of a faff, but managed to get that one done on me. And you just gotta be careful that you don't go damaging the paintwork on the vehicle. This one doesn't matter too much because we're going for that patina look. Um, I've caught it in a few places. Um, and then this side is now out as well. Now this side was a hell of a lot more difficult from here all the way around to here was absolutely fine. We cut for it as much of a 
pain as it always or it was on the other side, but it cut through it. Coming around to the bottom though, you've got the drain grooves, which are the plastic drainer grooves that if any water gets into the um, the run up for the window, the water, the water can then come out, get back out to the van and it doesn't get wet inside the van. They are pretty much hard up against the body because obviously they're thicker than the glasses um, where the adhesive is. And trying to get the um, cheese wire around, I snapped three or four trying this end and I snapped three or four trying this end. And it annoyed me and it got really, really annoyed. So I just decided to tap the window on a corner. It shattered. We cleaned it all up, cleaned the mess up. We've hoovered the floor. I've going to be well happy. I've got the ear out of the ass in here. Um, tidied it all up. And yeah, we're now at a point of being ready to bond the new windows in. So it's the same process as we did before. Oh, actually, sorry, Mr. Step. I've gone around with um, blades and as rough as it is, a wood chisel because it was the sharpest, strongest thing I've got because I haven't got any single-sided blades. You want these single-sided standing blade or single-sided blades, razor blades instead of a standing blade um, are the best thing to clean it off with. We'll clean that back as flat as we can get it. Um, and now we need to go over, prime that, prime the back of these windows. Um, we need to heat up the adhesive as well because heating up the adhesive um, makes it come out of the mastic gun a bit easier. We need to find the mastic guns, right? Actually, I don't know where that is. Um, but yeah, we'll get the GoPro on, we'll get them primed up, get these windows bonded on. And there we go, as much of a pain as that is. Wear gloves, I didn't. I'm now covered in the adhesive. So we went round and used the primer wipe, so the alcohol wipe to clean both surfaces before we went round and then applied the primer with, wherever it's gone, one of these little applicators. Prime both surfaces where the glue is gonna be. It's primer, so it primes both surfaces and then We've gone through with the adhesive that's in the kit. We've cut the V in there bigger, and I've cut it all the way down to the, you see those markings on it, all the way down to the bottom one, so you get a real nice, big, thick, standing glue. Um, and then bond, yeah, lift the panel, push it into place, make sure that it's nice and flush everywhere that it wants to be and everything's touching where it wants to be. And then put some tape on it to hold it up so that your gaps are all okay. Um, and that's it, fitted. Um, the other ones were bonded on really well. I'm really happy with the glue line on them. I've done exactly the same thing on this. So I'm hoping these are gonna be bonded on okay. Um, we'll come out in a couple of few hours. Um, just check the glue, take the tape off so that it doesn't go damaging the paint or anything. Um, and we'll show you the windows when they're fitted. Good morning. So I completely forgot last night I was too comfortable on the sofa and completely forgot that it was supposed to come out. So hopefully, Tape. Yeah, it's not leaving any residue anywhere, so we'll get all these bits of tape pulled off. I oh, know, something's broken. Yeah, we'll get this tape off. I'm going to show you what the windows are like. Right, we managed to get the tape off without causing any damage and without leaving too much residue on there. From the outside, I think they look quite nice. So inside, two latches that you undo. Undo that one. Undo that one. Window pushes out, and like I said before, it stops. If you tighten these little knobs up, wherever you want it to stop, going all the way out to that, which is the maximum extension, which is going to give you a nice airflow for either when you're cooking or if you've got both open, you should get a nice breeze through it. And then looking on the outside, we've got some wings. But they'll give you a nice airflow and you're not going to get any rain inside your van if you leave them open when it's raining so obviously one of the slight drawbacks to having these windows fitted compared to your normal sliding window is that you're not gonna be able to have them open while you're driving or you may cause some decapitations but anyway i don't think that's a major problem we've not got any seats in the back so it's not a problem for us and i think that the the benefits outweigh or the pros outweigh the cons of them for having them for camping for airflow 
etc and not let him rain in as i've said um, i want to say a massive massive thank you to transport hq for sponsoring the channel working with me on this and for supplying me with a set of these windows as far as i'm aware these windows are for sale on their website i'll put a link in the description and if you use the code chambers5 you get five percent off your order as well so massive thank you to hq for yeah supporting me with this build and continuing to work with me right just a quick one on this video then guys we just wanted to get those windows swapped out i'm gonna have a bit of a clean out a bit of a tidy out and sort out get it ready for another camping trip actually this weekend is the navis barbecue and transport rescue so we're getting ready for that and then we've got a trip the week after so hope you've enjoyed it guys until next time enjoy